singer, dreamer. Now that's who I really am. But for many years, people have perceived me to be this diva-esque, perfect, poised, confident young woman. But what it really has been is it's take me, taken me a very long time to get to where I am today. So let me take you back to when it all began. I was seven when I accidentally stumbled into the magical world of entertainment. For want of a babysitter, my twin sister and I would accompany our mother to the NCPA, which is where she was rehearsing for a French opera at the time. And before I knew it, there I was, in my first opera. Two years later, when I was nine, songs were already being written for me, and critical acclaim had already come my way. Now, Imagine what it must have felt like to have a thousand pair of eyes look straight at this diminutive figure under the spotlight. It was crippling, to say the least. I remember I could hear my breath in the silence. I could feel my knees trying to give way. And my heart was beating and thumping so loud and so fast, I could have sworn every member in the audience could hear it too. I remember. Um, I had just started to sing my first verse. And despite everything, I remember I could finally feel free of the fear that was holding me back because it just flowed out of me. And I felt much better. Now, that same fear continued to follow me around as I stepped on and off different stages through my life. I remember my mind was constantly in conflict because on the one hand, I was doing something that I adored and I cherished. And on the other, I was full of insecurity and fear. It took me a very long time uh, to get over that fear. I still, have the, I still have this fear today. And I probably will for the rest of my life. 
but my journey has taught me to soldier on and conquer my fears to become who I am today. Everybody has fears. Some people fear darkness, others cockroaches, and well, some people crowds. For me, my fear is exactly what I'm doing today. It's quite silly. It's um, speaking to a crowd. And singing has, however, over the years, become a lot less stressful for me, perhaps because I sing a lot more than I speak. But my journey thus far has taught me to overcome this with giant strides of confidence, because I have a truly amazing support system. That is my family. Barbara Streisand once very famously sang, people who need people are the luckiest people in the world. And I think that I'm really no different. So I think that if we are to survive this world that we inhabit, wouldn't it be wonderful if we learned to live lightly, laugh at ourselves, do what we love and love what we do, be true to ourselves, believe in ourselves, and not be afraid that others are watching? Because they're not. They're on their phones. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm thrilled to be here today. And before I leave, I'd like to sing a song that is very, very close to my heart. It's a song I have grown up listening to, and I'm sure all of you have as well. It's sung by my idol, Whitney Houston. So here is, I will always love you. If I should stay 